Matt Lenahan for Boxing Social in association with William Hill, Empire Fight Store. Delighted to be joined by Cruiserweight, David Light. David, a lot of people in boxing, some people will see you as an unknown. A lot of people telling me this is a very, very game, active fighter who's battled his way to get this opportunity. Lawrence is in a real fight. You're coming to snatch this belt and take it off him. How are you feeling coming into this? You relishing that underdog tag? Yeah, I do, you know, like, um, well, I've always known that this was going to be what we're going to have to do. We're going to have to go to other countries and earn our stuff. It's never going to come to us. So, you know, if I wasn't ready to do that, then I shouldn't be doing this. Lawrence has been out the ring over a year. Change of management team, change of promotion, change of trainer. Do you believe this could play a part in his performance on Saturday? Do you think it could have a negative effect? Absolutely. It could also have a positive effect. I don't know, but, um, you know, I'm prepared for the best... Lawrence O'Coley that that's going to come um, if an opportunity presents itself and I can land a big shot yeah. then I'm going to um, all too happy to take that but if I have to win on points sweet as a lot of people are saying no judges needed for this fight this isn't going to see the final bell you believe in your heart of hearts you can not only hurt Lawrence O'Coley but you could knock him clean out yeah I can I think I've proved that with uh, fights I've had in the past I've landed big shots good timing that kind of thing so it's definitely possible we always see in boxing when people, when there's an, especially when you're touted as an underdog, even in your mind, you're going in there, you believe you win. We always have that breakout moment of a, a star is born, you know, this is your, your time to shine kind of thing. Do you believe this is your moment? You've travelled all the way across the world for it. Is this your moment where you go, look, this is who I am and I'm now world champion, you have to come to me? Yeah, I certainly hope so, man, you know, um, but... It's just, um, I'm not letting it be a bigger thing than it needs to be. This is just a fight. I just have to do everything that I've trained to do, um, everything I've practiced, and, and you know, we let the cards fall where they fall. Obviously, biggest fight of your career. How do you deal with pressure? You seem very cool, very calm, very relaxed on that stage. How do you deal with that? Man, you know, it's just like um, all the work's been done, and um, the only thing that you can do now is get jitterbugs and screw it up. <laughs> have you got a message for your fans, family back home, people who are going to be tuning in and watching you, staying up at all hours? Uh, yeah, no, I'm just, super, I'm just super grateful to every New Zealander who's seen me a message and got behind me. You guys are all awesome. Um, I hope to bring it home for all of you. Well, look, Dave, it's been a pleasure catching up with you. I know you're pressed for time. We look forward to seeing you on Saturday night and we'll catch up after the fight. Cheers, mate.